Bayer Crop Science made this announcement today as the anniversary of a deadly explosion that killed two workers draws near. Here's how the changes will break down. Officials with the Bayer Crop Science plant announced that they will reduce their MIC storage by 80% over the next year. MIC is the chemical that killed thousands of people in Bhopal, India more than 20 years ago. Bayer is the only plant in America that stores and produces large amounts of MIC. Questions were raised during a congressional hearing about whether the plant needed to stockpile so much of this chemical. The plant also plans to only store MIC underground now. Plant officials also announced today they will not be rebuilding the methyl mill unit where the explosion happened at the Institute plant last August. They say these changes won't cost anyone their jobs, but it will cost the plant $25 million. Now, MIC was not released in the explosion that happened last summer, but shrapnel came very close to an above ground storage tank. That, of course, sparked a heated debate for neighbors concerned about their own safety. WSAZ Charleston's Kelly Card is in our newsroom tonight. Kelly, for some folks, will they say their fears are finally going to be addressed? Yeah, but Jessica, they also say this is just the first step because MIC will still be used in production at the Bear facility. Therefore, there will still be a risk. While others say they have come to accept and understand the risks associated with living next to a chemical plant. But the one thing they do ask is that Bear be a good neighbor. The streets and institute are quiet now, but people in this community and those from miles around won't soon forget what happened nearly one year ago. I like seeing, uh, seeing the flame just, just bright up the whole sky and everything. That explosion killed two workers and set off a firestorm of questions and concerns about the breakdown in communication, safety lapses, and dominating these public forums fear about the deadly chemical MIC. What are they going to do about all the MIC that's there in the area? I didn't know it was as much as it is. But now the stockpiles of the chemical will be reduced by 80 percent. There's still the potential of a Bhopal to happen, so I guess it's baby steps and I'm glad that they're taking them and so hopefully we'll just con they'll continue in this step to transition out of the use of such chemicals. It might get a little bit safer, but I mean it's still the fact that they got chemicals over there and you know, then you never know what kind of chemicals is let out. A risk that for some is just a fact of life. We've always lived with the plant. Um, the plant has been pretty good in contributing to the community, contributing to the fire department. So uh, the chemical plant's going to be there, so we learn to coexist. Regardless of the amount of MIC, there is going to be a risk of having some there. And if you don't have any, there, then you're not going to have a saleable product that provides jobs for many families. For some, the good outweighing the bad, with Bear now learning from a deadly mistake and making changes that could save lives. Now, Bear also says it will host a community forum to explain these changes and what they mean for the community. Jessica, the company also says they're going to continue to look at their operating procedures and look at alternative technology that may mean an even larger reduction. All right, Kelly, the plant has also made several safety changes inside the plant, worked on their communication plan, and held drills to prepare themselves in case of another emergency. As we mentioned, Friday is the one-year anniversary of the deadly explosion at Bear. A group called People Concerned About MIC will hold a candlelight vigil. Organizers want to bring the community together to remember Barry Withrow and Bill Oxley, the two men who were killed. They also want to honor the emergency responders who put their own lives on the line that night. The visual will be held this Friday at 7 o'clock at Wilson Student Union at West Virginia State University. Now, Bayer's decision to make this reduction in MIC is a hot button issue. Our poll question of the day over on the web channel at WSAZCharleston.com. Do you feel safer now that Bayer plans to reduce the amount of MIC stored at its institute plant? We'll take a look at that. Clearly a split decision for those who weighed in tonight. 50% of those who voted said yes, while the other 50% voted no. We will have a new poll question of the day posted tomorrow morning over on the web channel. An unbelievable, unimaginable catastrophe. 
A vigil to remember the night that gripped the Kanawha Valley in fear. Our top story tonight, the anniversary of that deadly bear blast. Good evening, everyone. I'm Deborah Lib. And I'm Rick Lord. Thanks for joining us on Eyewitness News. It was one year ago today that a tragic explosion at the Bayer Crop Science Plant in Institute rocked the Kanawha Valley and killed two workers. The explosion sent a huge fireball into the night sky and forced residents surrounding the plant to shelter in place. The blast eventually killed Barry Withrow and Bill Oxley. Eyewitness News reporter Gilbert Corsi attended a vigil tonight and talked with neighbors remembering and reliving the days of that day, or the events of that day, I should say. Gilbert. Yeah, Rick, the blast happened at the Bear Plant, but sent shock waves throughout the community that in some ways are still still being felt today. Some people tell us the night of the explosion is a moment in time that they will remember for the rest of their lives. We pray for the safety of our community. With a candle and a prayer, a small group gathers at West Virginia State and University right with a common bond. We're here tonight to remember the two workers that died in the explosion, to honor the emergency response officials who put their lives on the line, and also um, to remember that there are still some dangers that exist. In the crowd, you'll find people like Mildred Holt. A year ago today was terrifying. She's lived across the street from the plant for more than 20 years. Mildred says the worry of an explosion was constant. We feel that it didn't have to happen. This incident was one of those events that has forever shaped this community. This vigil events. was coordinated by the group called People Concerned About Methyl Isocyanate, or MIC. Mildred is a founding member of the group. Together they walk the state campus for deceased plant workers Barry Withrow and Bill Oxley, hoping out of tragedy comes a lesson. This is the first chemical company that has ever made such a positive move. Earlier this week, Bayer announced plans to reduce their storage of MIC by 80 percent. MIC wasn't part of the explosion, but the amount of the dangerous chemicals stored at the plant brought fears of another tragic incident. While some say there is still work to do, Mildred believes it's a sign that those two plant workers did not die in vain. Representative Shelley Moore Capito released a statement today. She said, quote, on this solemn anniversary, let us remember those who lost their lives and build on the announcements of recent days to make a safer and more secure Kanawha Valley. Reporting live in the studio, Gilbert Corsi, Eyewitness News.